This is Dwayne, Developer Advocate at GitGuardian. In this video, we'll be looking at GitGuardian playbooks and how you can automate parts of your incident remediation workflows. This video assumes that you already have some familiarity with the GitGuardian internal monitoring platform. If you don't, I highly recommend pausing this video and watching one of our other introductory videos. At GitGuardian, we think that one of the key signs you're on your way to secret management maturity is being able to automate your processes. Secret management maturity consists of people accessing the right tools and using them within the right processes. You can purchase all the right tools, but unless you also combine those tools with the right processes, it's very hard to get the results you ultimately want. Without repeatable processes, it's impossible to achieve automation. This is one area where GitGuardian internal monitoring platform really shines. We're not just a set of tools, we can also provide you guidance to help you set the right processes in place. Achieving automation means you can reach the highest levels of secret management maturity. We're going to take a look at these three elements in this video. What are playbooks? Why you would automate with playbooks? And what playbooks are available at this time? So what are playbooks? The GitGuardian platform alerts you when hard-coded secrets are detected in your source code. Within the dashboard, on the right-hand side of any incident view, we provide recommended steps to explore the incident, collect needed feedback, as well as tips on remediating the incident. That second step, collecting feedback, means actually reaching out to the correct developer and systematically involving them in the mediation process. Getting developer feedback is critical since they're the ones that understand the keys, what they go to, and why they're there in the first place. With more information in hand, you can then decide on how best to remediate the incident, rotating keys if needed, and possibly removing that key from the repository in total. The final step in remediation from the GitGuardian dashboard point of view is marking the incident resolved. Resolving incidents normally involves multiple team members. This is true of very small teams as well as teams of tens of thousands of developers working all over the world. If we think of a typical incident, you can think of a developer who introduced a hard-coded secret somewhere into the code base, someone else who has already approved that pull request or enabled that code in some other way to make it through the CI-CD pipeline, and eventually that secret is discovered by a security team member who then needs to plan remediation. GitGuardian playbooks are intended to help the needed remediation communication cycle, shortening it quite a bit by automating the emails that go to the right team members. Playbooks are also a way to grant any needed access to the GitGuardian internal monitoring platform quickly and easily without exposing the entire dashboard to team members that don't need full access. Playbooks also help you request the right feedback in the most efficient way possible. We can even enable auto-resolution of commonly seen incident patterns. Playbooks are available for anyone on a business plan and can be enabled through just a couple of clicks in the dashboard. So why would you automate incident remediation? It all comes down to one thing. Human beings are error prone, especially when doing repeated processes. This is true for things like washing dishes as it is for coding. This is really one of the main reasons behind the rise and evolution of DevOps. Hand configuring servers was messy and error prone and led to all sorts of issues and ultimately very long wait times to deploy new features. With automation, you can shorten the entire cycle, shorten feedback loops, and ship more features faster. If a process is repeatable, it's also tunable. Using tools consistently and through automation gives you the best chance to see patterns and adjust your practices. We're really talking about DevSecOps here, or specifically secret ops. And just like the rest of DevOps, automating as much as possible for incident response will lead to more consistent and overall better results. GitGuardian offers three different playbooks at this time. An auto healing playbook, an auto access granting playbook, and an auto resolution playbook. The auto healing playbook automates the process of sharing the incident with the developers involved. The developers are then empowered to submit their feedback. They're provided the correct link to review the incident, write their response, and include the nature of the secret involved and any other notes that can help close out the incident. 
The playbook also gives developers the ability to resolve and ignore incidents directly. For instance, if they've shared an example API key that doesn't actually go to anything, the developer can go ahead and mark that as ignored and go about their day. It will resolve in the dashboard and record all of their appropriate feedback. Next up is the auto access granting playbook. Designed to give access to the right people at the right time while still embracing a zero trust posture. Granting team members with restricted roles dashboard access to only the isolated incidents means you don't need to worry that they'll get full access to all the incidents in the dashboard. It also means you don't need to remember to revoke their access later. Finally, we offer the auto resolution playbook. This playbook automatically closes incidents that contain credentials that have been marked as invalid. The GitGuardian platform checks the validity of many types of keys and therefore can automate the closing of any incident arising from invalid keys in your code. They'll still be in the code base, but since they're invalid, you can choose to no longer manually deal with these occurrences in the dashboard. This can be especially useful if performing historical scans after you've rotated keys. If there's a playbook you'd like to see us create, we welcome your feedback. We'd also love to work with you to create new playbooks for your enterprise. GitGuardian playbooks are here to help you automate the remediation process, which will help you close issues faster and with improved consistency. More automation means more time to focus on what humans are great at, which is creative thinking and delivering awesome features that would delight your customers.